Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 13th, 2023. Well, my goodness, today is one of those big days. We're going to kick off, officially kick off, the um, first quarter earnings reports this morning and um, they will be rolling in here soon with several of the big banks reporting today. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at some of these charts and see how um, these charts are shaping up here this morning. One of the things that's been rather interesting is we continue to see this push to the upside um, with the markets trying to tell the Fed that they're done um, raising rates and continuing to uh, push higher and higher and yet um, a brand new story out, uh, Fed's Hawker supports smaller 25 basis point interest rates and sees another um, uh, probably three rate increases this year to get them above 5% or around 5% until they um, start slowing down. So the Fed seems to be still pretty convinced that they're not done with their job. And although the market just wants to keep pushing on uh, higher um, in anticipation of earnings, I guess. So let's take a look at this Dow. If we uh, take a peek over here, we can see that we continue to hold in this bullish upside move. We've broken that downtrend here in the chart. We held that uh, downtrend as support. And now we're stretching to the upside higher and I do use the term stretching because we are showing a little bit of an overbought condition in some of the indicators. If we take a look right in here, we pushed up in here pretty sharply um, uh, yesterday, pushing up into that resistance area that I suggested, it, suggested if those bulls found some type of inspiration, they would push up here. And that CPI number, although it showed a decline, it also showed that um, those costs to the consumer, the things um, that are kind of concerning to the consumer, food and those kind of things, continue to move up. And we are still in a rather restrictive situation with, you know, 6.4% inflation per month. So we'll have to see how the consumers feel about that. The market's trying to convince. Um, everyone that it's all great and it is nice to see that it's coming down that the Fed's activity is starting to work but what I think is going to happen is the Fed's going to keep pushing until they break the market so watch that closely here if those bulls find inspiration today well I would say we would push right up into um, a level right up in here um, these are some pretty big point moves in that chart and remember what we're doing is we're pushing way past all of this big resistance here in the chart and we still see a lot of overhead that we've got to push through still so watch that carefully now on the technicals here in the chart uh, diamonds is definitely the most bullish of the market um, back above its 50-day moving average or 200-day moving averages below we've got good strong moving averages in here um, holding um, a below price, which would be a uh, moving average squeeze or a support area in the chart. And if those bears were to find inspiration, well, unfortunately, I think it could be a pretty big move back down if, if we happen to get some big bank reports disappointing. Then um, back down, I think um, our support's going to be right in here. That would be a pretty substantial push to the downside and if that were to go then we move on lower into here now let's take a look at our um, spy now spy tried to Im has improved a lot and you can see here on the technicals we pushed above our 50-day moving average but that 200-day moving average is above and we ran into that 200-day moving average and just kind of paused yesterday and left 
behind um, in the candlestick pattern um, we left behind a hanging man now hanging man can be a bearish signal uh, particularly at price resistance but it's really only going to matter if it follows through to the downside if it pushes through to the upside doesn't it, it doesn't mean anything so um, let's keep an eye on that but we are uh, definitely much more bearish here on the SPY um, uh, technicals. Now if we look at the price action chart here, and I made that mention yesterday that if the bulls found inspiration we would push up into some of these price levels up into here. We didn't quite make it up to these little peaks up here, but we have definitely broken through that little resistance right in there. So the bulls are definitely in control here um, on the the SPY despite the fact that we continue to run in a bear downtrend and that has not changed yet here in the SPY so keeping an eye on that if the bulls can push on through today I would suggest maybe a level right up in here where we would press up into these high points um, here of these recent these recent pushes and see if we can um, break on through that and if they can continue to push if we get really good bank data then maybe a push right up into this level here so watch that carefully and once again if those bears find um, inspiration today well then a push down into here we've got some pretty decent price action support right in that area push down into there it definitely looks possible that would test almost test yesterday's low and if that were to fail then I would suggest we come down into here um, on that chart so watch that carefully uh, by the way I'm just um, see that JP Morgan um, have just put out their earnings report let's take a look at an intraday here on JP Morgan we had an initial pop here this morning as their earnings came out and uh, now we're seeing a little bit of bearish pressure here so um, uh, might be uh, who knows that might be a theme of the day so let's take a look at our QQQ QQQ also popping up here this morning we'll want to keep an eye on this um, um, oh, not popping up but uh, popped up yesterday that's what I meant to say and as you can see we left behind another hanging man pattern our technicals here in the chart have certainly improved with the QQQ crossing above the 50-day moving average and now the challenge is going to be can it hold that 50-day moving average but unfortunately the price action of the chart is far um, less bullish than the other indexes and if we take a look in here you can see we've pressed up into this price resistance to break that 50 but we haven't been able to push through there and I did suggest yesterday if we found that bullishness we could press up into that area if we can continue to find bullishness today then pushing up even higher into some of these levels um, up into here um, would be possible notice we've got these lows right in here that we could test in that chart and if we can push through there well right back up here into these levels and that would be up around that 200 day moving average in the QQQ now if we find those bears um, catching the inspiration here today then what we want to watch for is that possibility that we could push back down into um, well maybe a little level right in here that would be kind of yesterday's low um, where we tested um, on a little bit of selling in there and if we um, push even lower than that maybe a test of this support area right down in here so watch that close now our um, IWM IWM has been remarkably strong um, honestly stronger than um, the other indexes as it pushes up not not technically as strong as the Dow but boy it's just been rising and rising and rising hard so taking a look here on our IWM once again um, all this push and we just finally broke out of our downtrend here in um, IWM now the question is going to be once you break the downtrend can you hold it as support that'll be the test here over the next few days whether it can hold that and um, actually support this um, well very volatile 
um, upside trend that we're starting to develop here. So watch that closely. And I had mentioned yesterday on um, that if we had that opportunity for the bulls to keep pushing, that we'd press up into this um, level right in here. And if they can continue to press, um, here today, if we get that bullish inspiration, I think a push up here, uh, notice all these data points right in here. That's a pretty significant level here in the chart for a price resistance. So um, certainly would make sense that we could push up into there if we find that bullish inspiration. And then maybe even a little bit higher, you can see we got some data points over here, um, right in here that could press us on through to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Now, um, we just got BAC earnings. Let's take a quick look at BAC. BAC, uh, this is a 15 minute chart pre-market. Um, that's feeling a little bit of bearish pressure here um, initially after um, that uh, report. Uh, see, JP Morgan is continuing to find some selling. We also had Delta Airlines this morning and they are experiencing some selling here this morning. So uh, be kind of careful um, um, here today, it looks like we may be beginning a theme of a little bit of weakness in the bank, uh, banks, not quite as much as honestly I would have expected, uh, but a little bit of weakness. Let's take a look at our VIX. You know, I got to tell you, the VIX has just been really perplexing here. Um, as we pushed up yesterday and relatively light volume uh, pushed up yesterday um, remarkably the VIX just sank like a rock um, uh, <sighs> this to me is showing complacency in the market ahead of all of these data points it's showing complacency um, so we broke broke down through um, um, or ended some of these support levels probably a little bit overbought in the short term um, a lot of anticipation um, um, that the Fed is going to back off, which I just showed you that Hawker says, nope, not going to do that. Um, and that the big bank earnings would be good. So um, kind of keep a close eye on that. Watch that closely um, um, as uh, that occurs here. So um, if we bounce off of this area, then we'll look for resistance up here. If we continue to fall, then we'll start looking for these levels down in here on the VIX. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now our T2122 really put us in a situation yesterday where we are extremely overbought in the short term. And that's all T2122 is really good for is to tell us when we're extremely overbought or extremely oversold. And in the short term, T2122 is telling us that we are overbought. And as you can see, we're stretched up here into that resistance area of T2122. If the bulls find inspiration, it tells us we don't have a whole lot of room to move. If the bears uh, find that inspiration, and right now, Earnings are giving them a little bit of that inspiration. You can see um, we've opened up a big downside opportunity um, on that. So today could be a little bit dangerous in volatility. We could see whipsaws, we could see um, gaps. And remember, we're gonna be sliding into a three day weekend. And after we get through all of the reports this morning, well, there isn't gonna be much of anything else to um, move the market here uh, today. So. Um, kind of keep that in mind uh, as we get through these earnings. There may not be a whole lot going on and there may be folks heading out for the long three-day weekend. If we take a look at our T2108, I continue to mention that the bulls were in control here on T2108 yesterday and I continue to concur with that. But one thing I'll point out is that if you notice in this chart, go back as far as you wanna go, when we peek up into here, we're starting to reach that extreme level of overbought condition, a little bit too too shiny um, on that bullish side. And when we get kept, go even higher up in here, we hit extreme levels. So 72% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average and we are reaching um, a level of frothiness here um, on that upside move. So be kind of careful here and don't be surprised if we see some kind of a pullback uh, profit taking uh, begin to occur at any time. And if we take a look at our T2107, 
big stretch yesterday in T2107, 53, 54% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. And you can see we're also reaching up in here into some pretty um, heady um, areas here, um, showing lots and lots of bullishness ahead of these data points coming out this morning. So watch that close. So let's also uh, take a look at our T2101. Um, we have had volume come up just a little bit. So T2101 might be improving here, showing us the, that momentum. Momentum has certainly been pushing to the upside here, although volume has been relatively low um, all week in that rally. But keeping in mind that we're reaching into some levels here, some upside levels here that are a little bit, again, on the heady side, uh, maybe a little bit of a downtrend um, showing in here and lots of price resistance that we might want to be uh, taking a look at. So again, I just think we're at that point where we should expect some kind of a pullback here at any time. Let's take a look um, at... Um, our economic calendar here today. Our economic calendar, we have just a couple things to be paying attention to here this morning. We've got import export prices. They are expecting those to come in um, uh, negative um, um, and actually declining, ne uh, getting worse. Um, this morning and then we've got a consumer sentiment number that we'll want to keep an eye on and, and who knows where that comes in last last time it ticked just a little bit higher gasoline prices coming down probably helped that a lot but watch that sentiment number and then we've got hawker speaking today um so um that's about it for the day. When it comes to those earnings reports here this morning, um, we have already heard from WIT. WIT reporting this morning looks like it's kind of hanging in there. We popped up here just a little bit and then pulled back. So we've heard from it already. It's not really moving around all that much. Uh, still has to work through this resistance here in the chart. We got a little higher low going on in there. Um, we've also heard from UNH. UNH, boy, I've been in an ugly um, sell off here, but getting a little bit of a boost here this morning, as you can see, pushing up. Let's take a look at an intraday. This is a 15 minute chart. We popped up on that um, report here initially, and now we're kind of drifting back to the south side. A lot of resistance above in United Healthcare. Um, let's see, then um, UNTY has reported already this morning. Um, well, not much happening there, it looks like. Um, already showed you the Delta Airlines report, big old pop and drop um, on Delta Airlines, and it's trying to rally back up a little bit here at the moment in the pre-market. Remember, we start getting those conference calls and things can change on guidance and things like that, depending on what they say. Um, um, then we've got uh, BAC. And BAC um, also popping around here this morning. Um, initially popped, dropped, and now we're kind of swinging around here, probably waiting on things uh, to occur from there. We still have this morning to be paying attention to. Um, we still have BK that's going to report. We're going to hear from uh, BlackRock here as well, BLK. We're going to have Citibank reporting here. Um, FRC will be reporting today, so keep an eye on these. And then, of course, JP Morgan, which already reported and is looking a little bit on that bearish side. And last but not least, WFC, Wells Fargo. I haven't seen if that Wells Fargo report has come in or if this is just re, um, reacting uh, to um, the other reports, but Wells, um, I, I'm thinking that report's in. So um, looking a little bit on the bearish side here this morning. So be careful. This is a bit of a dangerous uh, potential day of price action movement in here with some whipsaws. And um, remember, going into a three-day weekend. So watch those things closely. Um, let's take a look at a, a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could please click that um, subscribe button. 
um, and click that um, bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find the video to be useful or worthy of, of um, supporting, if you could click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much who do, you know, for everyone who does take the time to do that. And I know it does get monotonous. Um, I certainly understand it's monotonous for a daily video, but it does take a lot of effort to put these out every day. And um, I do truly appreciate your support of that effort. Let's take a look at um, um, a few stocks that might be setting up. And we're going to have to be a little bit careful and do some due diligence here because of the volatility that we could easily see in the market. Kind of thinking about sliding into the three day weekend. How much risk do you want to have going into the three day weekend? But having said that, there are stocks out there to certainly be paying attention to. Uh, first off, I, I've got to continue to mention these metals. Um, we continue to see gold um, stretching to the upside. Now, I, I've been harping on gold for a long time. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying the rally here in in gold, and um, as we continue to press in this gold um, um, run to the upside, today we're popping over nineteen hundred dollars an ounce. I would expect a little rest or pullback here at any time in that. So I wouldn't be chasing in at the moment. Um, watch for that little resting pattern and see if there's an opportunity then to jump into that. And I've also got to put silver in that category. Now silver's gone through a little bit of rest, so it may have that opportunity here soon to resume that upside move. So keep an eye on silver. And my goodness, there has been quite a move in steel. Um, big upside move. As you guys know, I've talked about steel over and over and over. These metals doing very, very good pushing up. Um, MT, STLD, you can look across the board. Um, 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 uh, CLF for Cle Cleveland, um, US Steel. Um, steel has been very, very strong here recently, just pushing, pushing, pushing. So wait for a little resting pullback on those for some potential trades. A couple other places that I think are worthy of watching, and I know they're pretty boring type companies to trade, but um, AT&T has been holding in here pretty nice, caught an upgrade the other day. Um, I know um, it, it's not one of those that moves really fast, but it's a good strong dividend pay, payer. If the market does get worried after these bank earnings, um, that would be one to watch. I did see Verizon's got a nice little pattern going on in here. If you'll notice breaking above its 50 day moving average and now trying to put in a little bit of rest in here. So if we get that little consolidating rest in here, look for that next opportunity to the upside here in that chart. Um, other places, um, I think there's going to be some pretty good opportunities um, possibly short in um, the tech sector. Um, I, I've seen AMD pushing up. This might be one that is trying to change a little bit of that. You can see our short term move here. We broke a little bit of that um, a downtrend. We're trying to hold this higher low in here. But as you can see, overall, still in a bear trend. And we're right at the place where we want to be watching for that opportunity that this either pops out and holds or it fails. So watch carefully. And I think a lot of tech is going to find trouble in their earnings reports. I honestly hope I'm wrong, but um, I think there's going to be a lot of trouble in those earnings reports um, on big tech. So keep an eye on that. Um, uh, stocks like um, NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA rallying back up and once again we're rallying back into these downtrending levels for places where we have failed before and significant levels of price resistance. So watch carefully uh, for that uh, chance that that might be showing failure. Take a look at WMT. Um, old Wally World um, running into a little bit of trouble and unfortunately we, well, we had an interesting pop and drop here in the pre-market today on that but we're right in here on that 50 day moving average and this is one of those failure patterns that tends to be a very good failure pattern for a short trade and that is to break down through that 50 day rally back up into that area and then show failure and um, a move back lower in WMT. So 
we'll see if that occurs, but watch that close. And I have been seeing quite a few of those. On the uh, bullish side, there's some stocks coming up out of bottoms. Uh, uh, this was brought up by a member of Rightway Options. Um, and I got to tell you, that is one of the um, um, great um, benefits of being part of a trading room um, like that is because we have a lot of trained eyes looking at the market. And sometimes they spot things that I haven't seen and posted in the room. And they are a great potential trades. Um, for some reason, I'm not getting the symbol right. There we go. Generac. Uh, Generac trying to push up through this downtrend. This is a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout. Um, kind of re oversold, rested down here for a while, and now we've crossed up through that 50-day moving average. And what I want to see in this chart, notice that that 50-day moving average is just flattening out. I want to start to see it turn just a little bit. It should start to turn here just, just pretty soon. And if this rests back into here and holds on to this trend, I'm going to be looking for that opportunity into Generac. And there's several of these type of charts starting to set up, showing that we will probably have some long stock trades, some short stock trades to be had here in the market. So um, be kind of careful um, today. Um, remember, we've got a three day weekend. Make sure you're managing that risk carefully. Don't over trade. We're going to be hitting so many earnings next week. Um, it's going to be pretty wild and crazy. So be kind of careful. Y'all take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. By the way, I was lazy this morning. No blog this morning. So um, all the links that you will receive will take you directly to the morning prep video. Um, Y'all take care. Have an awesome, awesome weekend.